Hello everyone, it's me, Bokusachi, and today we are going to <coughs> oh, sorry. Oh. <coughs> today we are going to review the SA Figure Arts Kamen Rider Great Cross from Kamen Rider Build. <coughs> now I'm not going to spoil how he got this form because I want you to go watch the show for yourself. So this dash well. So, Great Cross, this figure is beautiful. And when I mean beautiful, and I actually mean pretty beautiful. I can't put him down, I can't stop playing with him, I can't stop posing him. He's probably my favorite, he's probably my favorite figure that I got in January. But, I did buy him last year, but even though he came in 2020, so I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come in 2020. Start out my brother next door. But yeah, this figure is beautiful. Freaking beautiful. And Tamashi Bandai did a good job with him. So let's go on with the neck articulation. Here's how far his neck can go. It can go, it can also go to a 360 spin by the ground, but I'm I'm not gonna do that. So now his shoulder. Now these are annoying. These pop off. These love to pop off. Pop off. Don't know why, but they they love to do that. It happened with my decayed one time. If you watch my decayed review, my, my my freaking review on the Neo Decay figure, it happened there as well. I don't know why, but <laughs> it always does that. Lucky it only happened one time. And I made to fix it, so yay for that. So the color scheme, I love it. The color scheme is so beautiful. There are there are somewhat pieces of the regular of the re loot of the re loot. Uh, there are some regular pieces of the re of the reuse cross design like this. This flame from the original uh, Alpha cross, and same for this as well. Now how good is he for articulation? Pretty good to be honest with you. He's pretty good. This is how far he goes. His legs, yep, they've been that far. Not bad. Not bad indeed. <laughs> So, we're gonna go on to accessories. So here we go, we, oh, oh, great. Yeah, this ain't a review where I mess up, actually. So here we have a beat, we have a beat crosser. Or his sword, this, this is his beat crosser, the sword that he used in the show. And we, and we have a pool that you can use to pull like, Pool and make a special tune with this. Go out the show for contact. That's why I'm saying it like this. Here we have two open hands for Banjo. We have two. Some we have two. Someone holding fist hand for his sword and for his uh, driver. And here, and here we have one open hand you can put for the driver. So yeah, he doesn't come with a lot. But also I want to say this, this guy, this figure is P Bandai, by the way. At the time, when he when he came out, when he came out I think in 2018, 2019, one or two, this guy was uh, P Bandai. So yeah. But he's on the market, so he he's on he's he's on the after marketing. So <laughs> if you want, if you can't get cross charge, if you don't want to get cross charge, if if you can't get if you can't get, no, I'm gonna wait. Never mind, I'm gonna wait for saying that. So on the size comparison, here he come with a 
freaking great one. Hold on. <laughs> wonderful. Just wonderful. Here it is with Kamen Rider, uh, here it is with Kamen Rider Gates, the, the, the final Heisei Secondary Rider, Kamen Rider, and the Heisei era. Here it is with Zero One. And you can and you can tell say you can say that he scales he scales one. He stands pretty well with both of them. Which is pretty great. Which will make me happy as well. So let uh, 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 move this out of the way. Me uh fix his leg a little bit. Here it is with the Lightning Collection, MMPR Green Ranger, and with the Blue Beast Morpher Ranger. Yeah, he's some. He he may be taller. Well, actually, no, they're taller than him. But besides that, you can you can you do you can do like a freaking a lot. You you can laugh. You do you can do a lot basically with uh. You do like a lot with with Plenty Collection and Comrade Figures. So here with here with Vegeta, the Prince of All Saiyans. <laughs> yeah, Bonds are gonna be taller than him, so <laughs> this that as well. Ah, so overall, what do I think? This figure is a for this this figure is my favorite figure that I pretty much bought. Now I will say he, there may be some problem, there may be some paint smudges here and there, and the shoulder pads may pop off at times. But overall, he's definitely a figure that I highly recommend you to go get if you're a comrade build fan like me, or if you're someone of a completionist, you want to get all the build forms. Then I would say, I would say this: get if you can't get him. Or cross dragon, cross charge is your best alternative. <laughs> he's, he's something he's almost like eighty or ninety dollars on Amazon. Save up that much, you can get cross charge because that's your best bet. Now for me, I didn't. Now for me, I didn't want to get cross charge. I didn't want to get cross charge. Also, I found a good deal. I found a good deal on cross on great cross over here. So I go. So I, I kind of went for it. So yeah, overall, this guy pretty solid. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, post the notification bell for my next video, and follow my Instagram at Bokusatsu and my Vimeo account. I do awesome stuff on there. So yeah, my name is Aaron, and I'm out. Love and peace. See ya.